Gemini, it's Amanda here with your May 2017 room scope. This month in conjunction with the rooms, I will be using the Pagan Tarot. This is by uh, Gina Pace with artwork by Luca Ramondo and Cristiano Spadoni. Uh, as always, after this video, be sure to join me over on my Vimeo On Demand page uh, where I will pull one card from the Trumps from the Viking Oracle by Stacey DeMarco for your spiritual guidance for the month of May. You'll find the link to that reading below this video. Just click or tap show more and you can meet me over there for part two. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do encourage you to watch the, the videos for the previous months and uh, also the 2017 overview because that will um, you know, give you an idea if my readings resonate with you. And then um, if they do, please do click subscribe. That will send uh, my videos each month to your feed so you don't have to go searching for me in the wilds of YouTube. But let's jump in, Gemini, and see, first of all, which rooms wanna talk to you about May 2017 for Gemini. Which rooms for Gemini? As always, Gemini, keep in mind, these are general readings, not private readings. So not all of these messages will apply to you. Um, some messages will be for the other Geminis that are watching this video, of which there are thousands, usually every month. So um, you can watch the video for your rising sign as well to get additional information, additional messages. But if you would like something far more specific that deals specifically with your circumstances and the people in your life, uh, do set up a private consultation with me. I do those on Skype. They are $70. Just contact me at roomscopes for you at gmail.com. You'll see that email address here in the video, but also below in the show more section and we can get that set up and uh, see what's coming up for you personally. But in general, let's see what energies are at play in May for my gems. Challenge or focus is coming up as the uh, the Three of Pentacles here, Gemini. So let me look at the rooms here and see what they're what they're giving me with this. Well, I feel like the challenge is going to be to cooperate with people you either don't see eye to eye with, or get along with, or approve of, or. <laughs> And this could be in a family situation for some of you, could be in a work situation for others of you. You could feel like someone took advantage of you and maybe they did really take advantage of you and um, in some way in the past. And now you're having to kind of maybe work with them on a project or, or um, you know, come together and uh, try to figure something out together or get a plan together. Some of you may be coming up with a family plan for something coming up uh, a plan for um, moving forward in some way and um, I don't know it just may be awkward if you had a falling out with somebody and now you have to kind of come together and, and, and but I'm feeling like you'll be able to do this Gemini you'll be able to kind of put things aside and, and do this confront the situation you're not really one to cower from that sort of thing sometimes you may disappear but if it's somebody you really care about or if it's a cause or a project or you know you want to keep your job i mean you you will <laughs> confront this situation and um you know deal with whatever needs to be dealt with and uh in order to get to the uh, outcome or to just you know find a solution to a problem um There may be something coming up regarding travel because we have AWAS here and AWAS can mean, yeah, having to travel to see a, a family member or, or to deal with this situation. Um, or you may be having to travel for work uh, on a business trip and you may find that when you get there, things are not the way they're supposed to be or somebody didn't you know, set up a hotel or set up a place for you to stay or there's some, so you may want to knowing that this is how these readings, perfect example of how these readings can really help. Um, knowing that if you are traveling for work or traveling to see family and you're going to be staying anywhere else, confirm that reservation before you go, make sure you've got all that, you know, 
and then you could avoid this altogether if that's the way um, it was going to play out for you. But yeah, cooperation, working with uh, maybe two other people because this is a three of pentacles on a project or uh, on trying to figure something out, maybe on a family business, like who's going to, who's going to, how are we going to split this up? It could be your parents or, or a grandparent calling everybody together and letting you know their wishes for, you know, uh, when they're gone and how they want things or the family business or who they want to get what. Um, so yeah, and that could be why you have to see other people that you're not real thrilled about. <laughs> Maybe you're running into. We got a lot of people coming up here in the reading too, but starting with this Elder of Wands. So the elders are kings in other decks. So, um, so this is the present energy. End of April, moving into May, we've got this fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Elder of Wands. So um, he's male here, but could just as easily be a female, again, in these general readings. For some of you, um, it may be a female fire sign energy or somebody with those traits. This is someone um, who wants to, uh, Inwas is here. So this is someone bringing you luck. They're, they're helping you. You are, there's a new beginning here with this person. So those of you that are mm, kind of dreading maybe dealing with a situation or dreading having to work with somebody you know if it's a work situation with this three of pentacles maybe this person is the third person and um he's going to kind of bridge the gap or or um take the lead or uh be the buffer <laughs> between you and the other person or um you know this could be this family member who is uh you know starting something new or wanting to repair the relationship or wanting to have a new beginning here with you. Um, this could also be a boss or somebody who is offering you this new project. Uh, you know, this may require a big sacrifice of time. For some of you, it may not necessarily be that you have to work with someone you don't like, but it could just be the sacrifice of time or energy that's gonna be necessary um, in order to make this project happen. But this person is, is there to guide you, is there to help you, and I feel like he's promised you something if you do, like if you do this, you'll get the promotion. If you do this, you'll get the raise. If you do this, you know, um, if you put this time and effort into this project, once it's done, we'll uh, we'll talk about moving you up or, or moving you into a higher position. So I, I feel like you have a, an incentive is what I'm feeling. You have an incentive for uh, whatever this is and making this work and finding the solution. Now, some of you, this could be because we have Othila here and Awas. This could be something to do with property, move, relocation. You may have to, like, again, it kind of came up for work. You may have to go work at another office or work at a different location temporarily, but again, you'll be rewarded for this. If there is any delay or frustration around um, property, purchasing or selling a property so that you can move, um, again, I feel like you're going to get some help with this. So maybe this is a real term. Maybe it's that, you know, you've got to start a job or you've got to start this project and you've sold your house. Um, or you've bought a house or found a place to live, but you haven't sold your house yet. And you need somebody to kind of take that over because you've got to go. I mean, you've got to be um, on site for this project. So if yeah, there's somebody going to step in and help you uh, with that situation or help you, um, help you not get taken advantage of in a buy sell property situation so yeah make sure i mean yeah we can all do research and of course and you're very good at researching things gemini and finding out all the details and you know find reading all the fine print and investigating that sort of thing but i mean it may be a situation where you need to bring in somebody or or even ask somebody that you know a relative or a friend or or your boss who's maybe had experience with this particular situation and get their guidance get their advice um but the help that's going to be available, we have the Two of Wands with Gifu. So the help that's coming in, and, and Kane has in reverse is here too. So a help that's going to be available. Let me see what this is saying here. Some of you, I mean, uh, you've, got a, you've got two choices here. 
And for some of you, maybe it's relationship, and it may not have nothing. You may it may not have anything to do with this challenge that was coming up. But maybe. I feel like some of you is like, you know, should I stay or should I go in this relationship? I have two paths open to me. I can stay with this person that I'm married to or living with or in a relationship with, or I can go this other way and be with this other person. So for some of you, I feel like it's two people. And, and this uh, elder of rods, this king of wands, maybe one of them. So one may be a fire sign anyway. And uh, that would, one of them may be a very passionate relationship either way you're gonna have to close the door on one relationship so that you can move forward now it doesn't have to be a romantic situation it could be that you know if i make this decision or if i'm on this person's side in the family meeting or at work or in this project i'm gonna alienate this other person um but for some of you, I think this is just a choice in who to align yourself with, but also in uh, how to behave or how to go after what you want. So you may be um, choosing, again, to cooperate with someone or work with someone or deal with someone that you don't particularly want to deal with, again, because of this incentive and, and kind of putting the past behind you, closing the door on that. Um, some of you may, and this would be a very Gemini thing to do. I mean, you may just be acting like you are this person's best friend. And you don't have to take it that far, but that may be what, <laughs> what you're doing is just, you know, I am just going to pretend like this person is the best thing since sliced bread. And, um, you know, that way this is going to go a lot more smoothly. But um, because this is coming up as a help, um, Either way, either actually closing the door on the past or closing the door on a relationship is going to help you uh, in May uh, move forward or uh, maybe just feel more satisfied with where you're headed. Um, some of you just may not be wanting to hurt someone or I, I don't want to, I really don't want to hurt this person, but I'm, I feel like I need to end this situation or I feel like I need to leave this job or in this relationship. Some of you, maybe it is like you're working for a relative, working for dad or grandpa or an uncle or somebody and you're like, oh, I really don't want to be here anymore. I have this other opportunity, but I don't want to hurt the family and I don't want the family to be mad at me, but it's the better option for me. Um, you know, I do feel like you've got to follow you know, your destiny, follow where you're meant to go. Um, a lot of times with family businesses and things, that expectation is just kind of thrust on you or, or put on, you don't ask for it, right? It just kind of lands on your shoulders and it's not even something you're interested in or it's not a business or, or a vocation that you are aligned with or that is right for you. So um, really think about that Gemini and, and follow what's gonna, you know, what you're meant to do. What you're meant to do is not necessarily what others were meant to do or what they expected you would do. Um, there may be, <laughs> with this, there may be an element of you, well, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't wanna be in the family business, but I don't want anybody else to have it. So that, I mean, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I mean, a lot of people try, but then you end up losing the whole damn cake. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I would focus on what's going to bring you the most bliss, the most satisfaction, what you feel your talents are, um, if they're going to be better used in, uh, in another field and not the family business, then you definitely need to, uh, kind of jump on this opportunity because I, I feel like it's being held out in front of you for many of you, this guy, if he's not a romantic interest, he's a, he's, um, a possible boss or somebody who wants to partner up with you in a creative venture, maybe even start your own business or start your own firm. Now, what must be accepted about May? We've got the tower card, but it's in reverse. So that's always good. So the tower card in reverse means that there is shocking news or news that could potentially hurt someone or just really kind of blindside someone that is remaining hidden. So this could be somebody hiding information from you, Gemini, or it could be you hiding information from others or from someone that would hurt them. So again, we were kind of talking about how you are 
at least for part of May, maybe not wanting to hurt someone's feelings by telling them you want to end the relationship or leave the family business or you're trying to protect them, but at the same time in doing that, you're hurting yourself in some way. So, um, but again, we have this with Rido in reverse um, and Isa. There's just this energy of you maybe having to travel or go see someone or go go uh, deal with someone you don't particularly want to deal with, but you have to in order to, uh, you know, get something to um, completion or or to get something to where it, it needs to be. And um, it may be somebody you haven't spoken to. There was a fall again. There was a falling out, a separation, or or some sort of division. And uh, for some of you, maybe it's an ex-wife or an ex-husband um, and you're having to go talk about the kids or you're having to go talk about property that you finally sold or, or uh, something like that. Again, though, you're going to take a buffer because, again, I've got threes and then I would take someone with you, whether it's a lawyer or, or um, a friend or somebody whose advice you trust. But, yeah, it's you having to go kind of deal with somebody that you don't want to deal with and then you hiding your true feelings about that or hiding... Um, maybe some inside information you have or hiding the fact that, you know, you're going to be getting a promotion if you finish this, you know, obviously you're not going to be telling that. Hopefully not. I wouldn't Gemini. I'd keep it to yourself, but I think you probably know that. I think you probably know that. Now the outcome of May, we've got another person. We've got the elder of pentacles. So again, a king in other decks, could be female though as well um, in these general readings. So uh, this is an earth sign person, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or somebody with those earth sign traits, very stable, very uh, financially conscious, very good at saving money, good at budgeting money, good at, uh, you know, could be an accountant even, <laughs> this person. Um, but yet this person is coming up as a protective influence this person is coming up as somebody who is, um, can give you very good advice. And this is all about achieving a goal. So again, we're kind of going back to biding our time, doing what we need to do, being patient. It's not here yet, but we're working towards it. You're making progress. This goal that you're wanting to achieve, you know, it's going to happen. It may not happen in May. I feel like for many of you, that's what I was is saying is like, you're working towards it. You're going to get there. And this person is somebody who's going to help you. This person and this person is someone who's going to help you. So, um, but yeah, the, the, uh, one of the traits of the pentacles people is that they are very patient and they, they, they want to do things right. They have a lot of attention to detail and they build things solid foundations. They take their time and do it right so that as they build things up, they don't collapse, right? Because they're on a solid foundation, especially a solid financial foundation. Um, you know, they're very, they're that way about their careers and the way that they are strategic and following their career paths. Um, so yeah, this is someone who It's going to help you and, and uh, you know, you may be meeting this person on this project, especially if you're traveling to another location or, or traveling for work. This could be somebody who is very influential and good to have in your network um, because maybe they're going to have some opportunities open for you later or they're going to come in and help you with something later. Um, but yeah, I, I keep feeling like from higher ups, especially on the job, Gemini, you're getting these indications like, okay, I'm going to give you this. And, uh, you know, if you complete this successfully, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about moving you up here and, and getting you in a different position. That's going to bring more money and, and, and is more in line with what you want to do. So that is what I see Gemini for the month of May. Um, like I said, do meet me over on Vimeo. I'm going to shuffle the Viking Oracle um, cards and we will see what spiritual guidance, what further advice we can get for you. I want to focus on the uh, the tower in reverse, but also um, these reversed runes over here about the whole uh, yeah family situation or these people that you have to deal with that you don't want to deal with. So meet me over there. We'll see what we can find out, what further info we can get for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here next month.